Hey guys, this is Tyler from MotionArray.com and in this After Effects tutorial I want to show you how to create this kind of photo carousel animation. It's pretty easy to do and I think it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and over here in the project panel I have 10 different image pre-comps. Um, each one is 1920 by 1920. And then I have a main composition down here that is 1920 by 1080. So I'm just going to open up my main composition in the timeline. And I'm going to drag all 10 of these images into the timeline. And the next thing I'm going to do is make them all 3D. And I actually need to create a camera and a null object. So I'm going to come up to Layer, New, Null Object. And I'm going to make it 3D. And now I want a camera. So I'm going to come up to Layer, New, Camera. And I'm just going to make a 35 millimeter camera. And down here, I actually want to parent my camera to this null layer. So I'm going to pick whip it to the null. And now, under the position of the null, I'm going to bring the camera back pretty far in space. Let's say to about negative 10,000. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to grab all of my images and I'm just going to move them over to the far left here. And I'm actually going to create another new null in the center of the composition. So I'm going to come up to layer, new null object. And I guess I'll call this one image controller. All right. And I'll drag that below my camera. So now what I want to do is basically rotate this null, this image controller in the middle, 360 degrees, attaching these images at various uh, intervals. So let me just show you what I mean. So the first thing I want to do is just attach this image 01 to my image controller. And now I want to have 10 images, and I know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. So 360 divided by 10 equals 36. I think I'm doing that right. Let's see. So now if I bring up the rotation, let me make this 3D. If I bring up the rotation of my image controller and under the Y rotation, if I just rotate this in uh, 36 degree increments, let's see, right? So 36, I'm going to go like that. And now I'm going to parent the uh, image 02 composition to the image controller. And I'm going to add 36 degrees to it. So I'm going to do plus 36. And now I'm going to parent the third image to the image controller and add 36 more. And parent the fourth image to it and add 36 more degrees. And I'm just going to keep doing this for all 10 of my images. Okay, so now when I rotate this, all of my images should be uh, an equal distance apart, and it's looking pretty good. But I want to keep my images facing the camera, so I need to write a little expression. So I'm just going to set this back to zero, and I'm going to bring up the rotation of the image 01. And under the Y rotation, I'm going to option click the stopwatch to write an expression, and I'm going to pick whip the Y rotation of my image controller. And at the end of all of this uh, text here, I'm just going to put times negative one. And what that's going to do is cause this image to rotate backwards as the image controller's Y rotation rotates forwards, and that will keep it facing the camera. I think that makes sense. So I'm actually going to apply this to every one of these images. And I also need to come back and zero out the orientation on each of the images as well. Because whenever we originally did it, we uh, threw them off. All right, so let's take a look now. And as I rotate this, all of the images should be facing the camera. And we have this really nice um, kind of a carousel look going on. Now, we can do lots of other things. You know, uh, let's see. Bring this position down, rotate it a little bit. 
on the x-axis. And you can actually set the uh, depth of field here to get some nice results. Just gonna have to make sure you are focused properly. Let's say I wanna focus towards the front here. And I'll just bring this back up and rotate it through. So now they come into focus as it rotates forward. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, you can add a floor in here and reflections and lights and lots of other stuff to make it look really nice. But I basically just wanted to show you how to create uh, this carousel here and keep the images facing forward. So anyway, I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you learned something. And thank you for watching. <laughs>